An inline frame or iframe, simply put, is a window on your web page looking at another piece of online content. Code-wise, every iframe includes the iframe HTML tag, as well as a source attribute to indicate the location of the content you want to embed. There are also other attributes you can incorporate. So let's do a quick example. Starting off, we'll put the iframe tag and then SRC, which is source. And in this case, we'll choose elegantthemes.com. Now, all I have to do is indicate the height and the width and just close off that iframe tag. The primary purpose of an iframe for most non-developer WordPress users is to display third-party content on your site. Some common uses include ads, YouTube videos, Google Maps, social media posts, and an RSS feed. For most users, iframes are beneficial because they maintain separation between your site and the external content you're loading into it. This is helpful for two reasons. First, you don't have to worry about updating the third-party content you want to display. Your advertising partners can change their promotions, your Facebook feed can refresh, and Google Maps can adjust for new housing developments. Your iframe will load the latest version. Additionally, maintaining separation between your content and that of other sites can provide added security. You don't have to worry about inadvertently importing any vulnerabilities or errors by adding third-party code directly to your site's files. Even so, there are many developers who oppose the use of iframes because they can also pose security risks. Any malicious elements in the document you're loading in your window will be available on your site as well. Third parties could take this opportunity to fish user data. However, if you're sourcing third-party content from reputable sources like Google, YouTube, and other popular social media or news platforms, this should not be a problem. But as always, be selective when incorporating new features into your site. Now, if you're looking to utilize iframes on your WordPress site, Divi can help. Let's check out two module examples that you can use right now. Number one, the video module. As we mentioned before, one of the most common uses for iframes is to display YouTube videos on your site. When you add the URL for an external video to the video module, it automatically generates an iframe to display it. If you don't wanna to have to type out your iframe tag and attributes, this is a quick and easy way to accomplish the same outcome. Number two, the code module. This is a simple way to type your iframe tag and attributes out by hand, or to use iframes included in third-party embed codes. We'll use a Facebook post as an example. Simply retrieve the embed code by clicking on the three-dot icon in the top right corner of the post you wanna display, then select embed. Then copy the code for the iframe and add it to your Divi code module. Your iframe now shows your Facebook post on your website. With that covered, now you know how iframes work and how you can use them with Divi. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.